everybody and welcome back to the cabin. Thanks for watching that video. So what you saw in this video is um, something that seemed to intrigue people right from the beginning and I got a lot of questions, maybe the most questions ever, on a couple of the aspects of this video actually. One is the charring of the roof boards and the floorboards and the posts and everything else that I um, char with fire and the other thing is what's that floor, uh, hole in the floor for. So this cabin sort of developed over time and um, I wasn't able to put a lot of forethought or planning into it. Basically, I built it as, a, as a, I gathered materials and then I lear learned to use what I had. Uh, these cheap boards that I had for the ceiling, the roof, and the floor um, were cheap. Um, or, or I had them milled from green, uh, well, relatively unseasoned logs. And as a result, all of the wood I used... In, as dimensional lumber was uh, green and not kiln dried so still um, holding too much moisture and therefore prone to shrinkage and to rot. Uh, so one of the ways around that was to when I could I left boards up in the loft here and just the heat from the fire drying out all the cab cabin boards and drying out the cabin dried out those boards as well. So I tried to use those after in places where I needed dried lumber that wasn't going to shrink too much like this kitchen counter for example. And where I didn't have the luxury of using dried wood, I tried to dry it out either with fire or to provide some sort of preservation technique and or apply preservation techniques such as the charring. So these floorboards, what I ended up doing is just charring them uh, and then brushing them with a wire brush to get the loose charcoal off and then clear coat it with like a varathane a diamond coat to give it some hardness and to protect that wood, keep the, uh, the char on the wood. Um, it's held up pretty good over time. I've worn through it in the obvious, you know, main pathways, but in other areas it's still kind of dark where it's not walked on. But I like the look of it. It's functioned well. So the framing of the floor was sort of, again, an afterthought. I wasn't sure at first how I was going to do it. I was trying to keep the floor off the ground so that it wouldn't rot or go moldy. So I tried to keep it elevated, which I did, off the gravel. And... Uh, just again using the wood that I had. So frame that in uh, the way I did, attach it to the to the uh, outside walls to support it with a couple of supports down to the ground, just like a sort of a little post to hold the, the two by sixes to make sure they didn't warp. And then I had the idea that I always wanted to build a cellar into the cabin, but this is mainly solid bedrock and gravel, which is why this cabin has not settled even an inch. Like there's no gaps from settling on the cabin. Um, so, so I was not able to uh, dig a deep cellar. I'm going to try to change that in the next cabin. It's one of the things I regret is not having that. Uh, I did build this small box and again um, I made mistakes on that that I'm going to correct in the next uh, cabin and I can't, I'm really looking forward to doing that. Um, the main thing that I overlooked was ventilation. So unless I prop that door open at least once a week to let it air out, it starts getting moldy because the ground is at a constant temperature and then the air temperature above fluctuates from extremely hot, uh, especially when the fire is going to cold and so on. So it tends to want to um, build up moisture in there and, and condensation and then mold. So I have to prop that open periodically. Um, other than that, mainly what I'm using it for and what it was always intended for was cold storage or uh, stable storage for foods that I didn't want to either freeze when I'm not in the cabin without a fire going or in the summer when it gets really hot from just uh, you know a lot of days of hot and humid weather and it's functioned really well for that it seems to maintain a temperature around five degrees in the winter and maybe 10 degrees in the summer celsius so that's ideal so I, I have been able to keep canned goods in there and uh, vegetables and so on root vegetables onions and things like that without them freezing. So I hope that answers your questions about the charring of the uh, floorboards, the framing of the floorboards, and what the hole in the ground is, a hole in the floor. Now I know I talked about chinking in an earlier video, um, but I want to talk about it in more detail in the next video and I'll show you the different recipes that I've used. You're going to see from there to there to there to there and then to the exterior the different ways that I did the chinking and what I learned from that, what I'm going to do differently on the next cabin. So if you're interested in watching that in the next video in the series, you can click on the 
uh, video on the bottom left hand side of your screen and if you want to watch the playlist from the beginning you can click on the top left hand side of your screen and watch the whole playlist from beginning to end. And if you want to subscribe so you don't miss any of these videos you can click on the icon down in the bottom right corner of your screen. So that's it. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it and I look forward to seeing you back here at the cabin next time. Take care.